I think this story's stupid, but I also think that uh, there's there's a there's a gem here. There's a gem here. There's for, there's an underlying story, right? Yeah, there's there's a gem here for for you millennials uh, who put everything into social media. Uh, ben Affleck and and J Lo, they're back together. We all know that, and we all don't care. But they're back together successfully might i add having a great time enjoying their wealth and right. um uh you know j-lo's butt right they don't have um, any they don't have any pictures of ben affleck sniffing j-lo's bum this time on a on a boat but we'll get there yeah i'm sure he, yeah anyways um so <laughs> what's their secret what's their <laughs> secret well apparently they don't follow each other on instagram and some Genius. people are saying that's the key to their success. Now, I want to take it a step further. I bet you that J Lo doesn't say, "Hey Ben, can I see your cell phone?" I bet you J Lo probably doesn't even know the password for his phone. You understand? I mean, I'm those are the good things to guess. I don't know about all that. I, that may be a little extreme because you know the celebrity world is a little bit different. But you have to have that level of trust. The thing about this is that we have to remember is that they these guys have been together before in a in in a hugely highly profile passionate relationship before and, and broke up for whatever reasons they broke up the one thing that i know about women the one thing that i can be certain of is they know how to hold a grudge you are with a woman you might break up you might meet a few years later it doesn't matter how much time after whatever it was that ended up breaking you guys up you have to overcome that first in order for there to be any type of healthy relationship right the one thing that can dead that quick or have somebody in their feelings is instagram is social media are these things where you can go and see just a person liking somebody else's post and then you're gonna get emotional about it or just seeing a comment that you're not gonna like you know and then you're gonna take that a step further so i i me personally i just wanted to say that because i like this move personally from both of them i like what they're doing in case y'all didn't know, YouTube is not our biggest fan. They be showing our videos to some people. Sometimes they don't. Some people get notifications. Some people don't. And you know what? It's because we like to speak our opinion on this. Two guys doing a podcast podcast. We got two very unique opinions every single time. So what we need you to do is we need you to drop a like, okay? I'm going to need you to drop a like, okay? It's going to help the algorithm, help our page get seen, help people hear our opinions, okay? Let's break the YouTube code. Drop a like right now, all right? Let's get back to the video. I was never a big fan of of social media as far as when it came to those type of things and having to be prying all in the other thing like that. But I mean, if you have enough trust to, to not scoop somebody's Instagram or not want to follow them, I guess it's also believable to say, you know, I don't need your password either. At the end of the day, it's trust. That's, that is really the point that I'm trying to emphasize here. So chances are JLo has his phone password chances are and vice versa but the point is is i bet you j-lo ain't like when ben goes to the bathroom to take a shit he comes back and he finds j-lo like this just casually going through his phone i bet you bet, <laughs> I bet you that's not the case and by the way if that is the case ben should feel comfortable enough to leave his phone let me ask you right. this let me ask you this fellas and ladies when you're laying up with the bow watching friends or whatever it is you're watching real housewives guy here when you go to the bathroom or when you go to make some tea, you know you're going to be gone for an extended period of time. Do you leave your phone behind? Because chances, mean, chances are she yeah. has your pat. Do you leave your phone behind? I leave my phone behind unless I'm going to take a shit because that's the whole reason okay. of going in there. I got to be on my phone. But my phone gets left behind. I, I don't care. Do you leave it behind? This is the thing that I want to that I want to ask guys out there. It's just like if you feel like you're at a point where you need to be checking your girl or whoever's phone, you feel like in your mind, like you like that's something that you want to do. One, why? Why would you want to do that? Why open a door that you might have to spend 20 minutes trying to close later? That don't make no sense. And two, if your mind is already in that headspace. That should be a major red flag. Maybe this isn't maybe this either isn't the time for me to be in a relationship because I have the trust issues or there's something about this other person that I'm not trusting right now. You need to get out of those situations instead of resorting to passwords and stuff like that. Like I'm at a point right now where if I'm dealing with a female and she even 
ask me for my password or ask me for anything like that. I'm like, I'm asking you, what is it that you want to see? What is it that you need to see so badly? She'll answer. She'll give you the answer. And I'll be like, listen, if that's how you feel, then maybe this is not the situation for you. I'm not holding on to somebody like that because if that's a level of distrust that you already have. We can't, you can't build on a foundation of distrust. It's not possible. It's always going to be there. One person is going to hold a grudge. It's not going to go away. So see the red flags and act on them instead of being a little bitch, being a little pussy and just holding on to somebody because either you've been together so long or you don't feel like you can find somebody. There's seven billion people in the world. You'll find somebody else. Majority of them are, are female. So great for us. But you'll find somebody else. Well, I guess the lesson here is the couple goals hashtag is now Ben and JLo. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? <laughs> All right. Every well, week it's every week it shifts. <laughs> viewing public, uh, what are your thoughts here? Also, I'm taking bets. When do you think we're gonna get that photo of uh Ben Affleck biting J Lo's ass or smelling it? Something with the butt. When do you think that photo <laughs> is coming out? I'm saying something his face was just really close to her bumming there. Just just Google it for people who don't know what we're talking about. Just what? just Google, just Google the picture. What picture? The, the picture that, I, that I'm referring to where Ben and J-Lo from way back, I think it was early 2000s, where they're on a boat. And not you don't have to Google it right now. I'm telling the, the Deuce Gang, they can Google it. You know what I mean? No, I could just Google it right now. It takes two seconds. I, 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 I saw the look in your face, and I realized what was happening. Uh... I know that I know what you're talking about. It happened on they even used it in uh, that J Lo video. Yeah, Ben Affleck grabbed Jennifer Lopez butt on yacht. Anyways, the point is, is I don't even think we, you know why. You want to know why? You want to hear something, fellas? We're talking about and ladies. We're talking about J Lo's butt. There's gonna be some grabbing and some. It's J Lo's butt. So what are we? Ben Ben is doing it right now, <laughs> right now. <laughs> And and if he's not, J Lo's like, excuse me, you know I could find someone to do that. This okay. it's it's J Lo butt. Like, come on, let's be for real. Leave it's it in the comments. Butt. It's her butt. Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like <laughs> and subscribe. Do subscribe. Oh, I I get it. You got like it. a bum. Like a bum. Yo, thanks for watching that video. Making it all the way to the end. You made it this far. You have to like. Please subscribe and comment on the video as well. Join the conversation. Absolutely. We finally hit our goal of 500 subscribers. Yes, yes we are trying to get to 1,000. And Woo! we can only do that with your help. You can start by watching that next video. You see that tiny little icon? Click on that icon. Rinse and repeat. Deuces. Deuces.